but she goes, I want your baby. And she grabs onto you like this, and you're just a jig, and they all up inside that bitch. As I drag the devil down, I will stand alone, no longer defeated. Young Money. So, lately I was talking to uh, my friend, and he asked, man, what if you were having sex with some chick? And she was on top. I'm like, yeah, so I take it anyway. Bitch can go on me any way she wants to. He said, well, say she was on top and you're pounding her like this. When you got your hands up, like you enjoying it, like you're on some damn roller coaster or something. And you're saying, oh, mm, yeah. And you say, I'm about to come. I'm about to come. Because that, that's like the warning sign to, like, that means basically the translation of that is bitch, jump on my dick. So he's like, you say, man, I'm about to come. I'm about to come. But she goes, I want your baby. And she grabs onto you like this. And you're just a jig and they all up inside that bitch. And she goes around telling people that you raped her. And he said, what would you do? So I thought I would share my advice to anybody that has had a situation like this. Or maybe has yet to endure a situation like this. So here's my advice if a, if a bitch sits on you, on your dick. I mean, you're ejaculating, and she says you raped her, and she goes almost tries to go to court. Now, what I said to him is I would take her by her hair, straight on there. I would find that bitch, take her by her hair, and pull her into the house. So she'd be like, no! <laughs> but I would take her and grab her so quick, pull my four fours, rip a couple of hairs out, man. I'd be so pissed. I ain't trying to go to jail. I ain't trying to go to jail just because I busted one. When she, when she's the one that pulled me in to bust in her. Nah. I be talking like, boom. I say, boom. I say, boom, right out. Say, whoosh, whoosh. That's what I be doing. And I be throwing her in the shower. I, just, I be having a knife. They say this pen is a knife because I ain't got no knife on me right now. I ain't like that. And I take this. I say, you better get in that goddamn shower because I'm about to be turning on some hot water. You can't even pick a knife or you can bake the shower. She can, nah! I just said, you better get in that shower. You better get in that goddamn shower. So she be coming in that shower filled with hot water. She gonna burn. I'm gonna burn that bitch. And she be coming out. She be like, no, please, don't be I be taking this. I be shh, all on her foot. Just shh, whip, take a piece of her foot off if I had to. I say, I say, shh. That's what I be doing. No, ain't nobody gonna be saying I'm raping shit. I be saying, shh. She ain't moving nowhere. She go, ah! I be saying, she ain't gonna do nothing. She gonna be crying. She, go, oh, it's she be crying out of the shower. I be taking my foot. Say this to my, say this to my foot. She be crying out like this. I said, boom, right in the head. She be like, ah. she be going back. She going back in that shower. She ain't coming out till I'm done. And my, my venting time. See, half of the time when I vent. It takes me a long time to vent. I don't know what it is about it, but there's just something when something pisses me off. It says me out. And I can't. I just gotta take a long time to vent. So I said, "Psh, psh, psh, ah, 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 everything. Hope it does, cause that's what it feels like to me. If the baby dies, the baby dies. I ain't want that baby anyway. She be sitting on top of me and jagging, and she be me and jagging up in that bitch. I ain't trying to do that." So I don't care no baby dies. So many babies in the world. Shit. Abortion's legal, right? But apparently kicking some bitch in the stomach ain't. Ridiculous, man. And I'd be sitting there. I would brutally murder her. And then she, I'd be like, alright, you did what you needed to. I'd be turning off that shower water. And she'd be crying out. She'll be all burst. <laughs> and then what I'd be doing is I'd still cut that bitch up. I'd be taking this night. I'd say, shh, shh. Slowly cutting. I'd be, Boom, bam, boom, all up in her like that. I be brutally murdering this bitch so she understands she gets a lesson. But then by then she gonna be dead, so I gotta find somewhere else to go. Where the hell am I gonna go with that body? So what I already decided is I would just take her out. That's all I gotta do. And I saw this show on Criminal Minds where they actually took the body and they baked it. Or crazy shit like that. Me? I would probably bake that body. I'd take that body. Throw it in there and they say, like, when you cremate and stuff, the body, when it's dead, it does this. And, like, it, it still jumps, which I think is incredible. It's crazy. So, the baby's sitting there, they be dead, though, when they be dead.
that scared the hell out of me, that bitch start jumping. I'd probably open the thing, throw some oil on it or something, and then my house would be set on fire. That's better. That's a better at it. Shit, I'd be setting my whole house on fire, saying my girlfriend be in there when I was trying to get out. I don't even know, man. I couldn't get to her, and they'd be like, oh, that's okay. You can be off. And then I don't have to get in trouble for anything. That's what I'd be doing. So, for anybody that gets accused of trying to rape some bitch when she's sitting on your dick. My advice, brutally murder that bitch to any other chick that sees that. And she knows deep down, like really deep down, up and deep into the yard that she knows you did it. And they won't be playing that game with you anymore. You still be getting some nice pussy. And that's all you gotta do. Brutally murder, burn your house down, move somewhere else, start a new life. And one one top thing though, never wear protection. It don't feel as good without protection.